Craig here on the third floor. With me today, we've got Jesse Watson and Patrick Healy, and we're talking Guild. Quick disclaimer, when filming this, it was in the open beta, so some of the details may change. Enjoy. Sonya Crid leading the Witch Hunters. I'm picking Sonya as my leader. What am I expecting her to do? Burn stuff. Yeah? Burn everything. Burn a nation. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, talk to me about it. Range? She's going to be at range. Okay. Um, she has, I think, the longest range attack in guild right now. Uh, range 14, 14, other than the snipers. Other than snipers, yeah. yeah. She's got a 14-inch range. Um, basically, it's not very high damage, mm -hmm. but it got blasts. <laughs> it, it's blast, and it puts out burning. That's where the extra damage comes in. That's a 234. Uh, it's a 235. 235. Which in 3E e is in line with a lot of other damage spreads. Fair enough. And it comes with, at severe damage, yes. uh, two blasts. Two blasts, Which possibly she three. could possibly get up to three, which means she'll be doing five to your main target. Yes. Blast, blast, blast. blast. Yes. With three damage to all those guys. And burning. And burning one to all of them. Yes. Um, I'd say she's very high tier damage. Actually. Yeah, gotcha. Fair enough. And um, so, obviously... She's a scary thing at range. Uh, right. not, not only because she can reach so far, but potentially really do bad things right. if you're clumped up at all together. That's where it really um, comes in, yeah. Is she any threat up close? Um, her melee attack's okay. It's a 2-3-5 as well. Um, it's only a stat 5. The bigger thing is it heals her and lets her get some card draw. Okay. And that's... I've actually um, been in situations where I've had the Vix come after her, which is what you want to do. Yes. Absolutely. She's defense 4. Escape. Let's get out of the yeah. way. She's defense her, 4. Her flame burst, the 14-inch range firebomb, yes. is what you want to stop. Yes. Got it. Uh, so you want to engage her. Yeah. But her melee, um, with the reduced damage spreads yes. of 3E, a heal 1 is sort of... It's it's getting that attrition yeah. rate much yes. more to your advantage, and I have had her win a sword fight versus a Vic. Yes. Nice. Um, and in the middle of all handing out all that burning and making sure that yes, everything is burning, hitting. Yes. Yes. Uh, you also get within range of scorch, of course, and this summon. is the biggest difference. She is the other guild summoner. She can summon. Um, so it does up to five. You know, it does damage equal to your burning up to okay. five. Up to five. Um, and then quenches the burning, but if it kills you, she can summon one of her witchling models mm -hmm. um, of equal or lesser cost than what she just killed. Yes. So if she did one point of damage to your, say, Peacekeeper, but that was the point that killed with that ability, she could then summon anything below cost 10 that is a witchling. Yes. Um, which we'll... We'll get to those when we talk yeah, about great. the but yes. Great, so she's she's got some, kind of indirect summoning. Yes. Yeah. All right, so blasting out there. Mm -hmm. You don't want her engaged, but she can... She can handle herself yes. okay. Vulnerable with that defense four. As long as the initial alpha strike doesn't kill her, she's okay. Gotcha. And yeah. I see the willpower seven, so that's good. That, that, that's uh, great. Yep. Um, excellent. Well, that's that's Sonya Cred. Okay, the witch hunters. Uh, I've got Sonya as my leader. I'm bringing a bunch of witch hunters as my crew. What does a what does a witch hunter crew look like? Well, first thing to do is there's actually two themes inside of there. You have witch hunters and you have witchlings. Oh, okay. And there's some synergy between them. But there's also a bit of a choice, I think, to make in the group. Yeah. How witchling heavy do I go? How witch hunter heavy do I go? Well, give me a... Let's start with witchlings, then. What does what is a what is a heavy witchling crew look so, like or feel like? I think witchling is what people remember best from, you know, the Sonya. These are the models that uh, are going to charge in. You know, they're going to have draw on the pain. So mm -hmm. uh, we're talking the Thrall, the um, Stalker, Stalker, and the and, purifying flame. and her own Purifying Flame, which is her totem. These are all models that are going to want to engage you in melee. Uh, and are happy to die. Mm -hmm. um, because when they die, they will explode, which hands out damage and burning. burning. They also have... <laughs> that works um, well with an her. Ability. It's like <laughs> nobody, well with her. Yeah. nobody cares about the witchlings. Or something no like love for witchlings. No love for witchlings, which means uh, people shooting in are ignoring the friendly fire. The witch hunters issue. we talked about in Sonya, they don't. They ignore the friendly fire. They just shoot in anyway. And these are the witchlings, so yes. these are also what is summonable mm -hmm. by her scorch. Got it. But then on the other hand, you have just the pure witch hunters. Mm-hmm. Which are a little bit more of a range control fight faction. So they tend to have the guns. Some of them can do melee as well. But like, for example, her um, henchman, Samuel Hopkins, his pistol is fairly good. He has mm -hmm. rapid fire, so you get multiple shots a turn nice. with that. And when it damages you, it plays out burning. And so we're building so, this whole I'm, I'm burning. I'm getting a sense there's a burning synergy. So <laughs> burning. Aside, from, uh, aside from just the summoning, um, we have several other burning synergies. For example, if Sonya is your leader... Um, all your melee, non-melee actions have their range reduced by whatever your burning is. 
So unless it's melee, your range is reduced by what you're burning. Is. Easiest wow. ability to forget while playing. Yes, it is. And most, most important. Clutch. I bet. Uh, you'll have abilities, you know, people, oh, well, I'm six inches away, I can do my focus thing. No, no, no. You took one burning last turn. Your You're range is five, five. inches away. <laughs> Not six. And it, does that, and I'm sorry, that applies to the next turn, or that's forever? So or? that is board wide, as long yeah. as she was your leader. So second master, you don't get this benefit. Yes. Got it. Got as long it. as she's leader, it's board wide, and it's equal to whatever burning you have. You reduce the range on all of your non melee abilities by that. So a range six uh, foul mouth motivation. Exactly. It becomes range five, then range four, then range three, all the way down. Pretty soon you're having to hug for your foul mouth motivation. Exactly. And a thing to point out too for the witch hunters, most of them can use soul stones. Wow, okay. Actually just use soul stones, not a, some kind of token ability, something like that. They use mm-hmm. soul stones. Interesting. Yeah. So that's um, a henchman and yep. Sam, the enforcer and the handler, and, and the, the minions and the, and the quellers all wow. can use stones. And, and as a result, have you been bringing... You know, ten cash with her, or because I could of see that? a time where I could do that. Yeah, um, depending if I think I'm so many pins with there, but at least the six seven cash I think is very happy. Yeah, yeah. she um, like uh, Lady J is another expensive master. You want to have the stones mm-hmm. to make your hits happen, and so early game you're going to be burning those resources, but you will get the effect out of it. Got it. Got it. And it sounds to me like with the Witchling builds, you're that's going to help mitigate people getting into her, right? So it sounds like that that's going to be the chaff that you're going to put blocking charge lanes, getting them engaged with things so sure. they're not mm-hmm. coming at someone. She can actually throw out a bonus aura that, um, for a bonus that's not an aura that's hazardous terrain burning um, that Witchlings ignore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she can kind of keep herself safe. Somebody comes in on that, everybody else is getting burning, which, there you go, range is reduced again. Yeah. So talk to me about the Purifying Flame. So the Purifying Flame is her totem. Um, it's an incorporeal... Pull up, make sure I get everything right on it. Um, it's basically incorporeal. It gets up pretty fast, and when it dies, it gives up burning, and it gives up burning through its attacks. Um, that's basically what it does. It's okay. there to put more burning on stuff, and then when it dies, it costs two, so she can always bring it back if she kills something. This works as well. What is a witch hunter crew or witchling crew afraid of? Condition removal. Oh, I uh, it directly sense. counters right. what it's trying to do. Yep. Yep. And high stat melee beaters to get on Sonya. She is yeah. still deaf four. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, your objective is to have either the snipers in place or the, you know, the leaping beaters mm-hmm. to jump on top of Sonya and murder her. Um, this is a list that, while the, you know, the witchlings and the witch hunters, they're strong, you still want Sonya up. They yeah. want, she's your primary source of burning, your controlled source. She's your best source of damage. Um, and so it lives yes. and dies on Sonya. It really does. Now, one mod I do want to point out is the Quellers. Okay. Um, they're another bit of burning synergy as well. So if you have burning three or more, they can give you adversary witchling and then push a witchling towards you. Then they can also, tar- in the burning condition on a target, to place a scheme marker. So it's range scheme marker placing and adversary movement on your witchlings. Yep. Also, the handler gives witchlings plus one move. Yep. So the handler speeds the witchlings up as well. So with your incorporeal totem, which is a witchling, mm-hmm. um, you know, not plus, it's plus two move, actually. Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah, so right he becomes yeah. a move seven. Wow. Yes. Incorporeal. Uh, that's 14 inches of walking. And as a bonus action, that gives him five inches of movement. Everything he touches catches on fire. So turn one, you could very easily Slings have crew, put him on fire. Totem in the and with crew. the burning, the way burning works in Malifaux mm-hmm. now, um, it's kind of there unless they want to waste AP on it. Mm-hmm. And then so what if they kill it? Then more burning goes out then. And then you'll just bring it back later. Now there's very, uh, something that's really important, I think, is a shout out for a rules shift. Um, in the olden days... You could have then targeted your totem and blow him up right. and chain your blasts. Right. Well, if you target your friendly model, you don't get your blast markers. Sad anymore. face. God so I'm throwing that face. out there because as we're talking about sending in the incendiaries and then blowing them up, mm-hmm. it's important to remember, you can't, can't do, do that. that. <laughs> so for those people that are that are 2E vets now playing 3E, right. that's going to be something to that's, that's a significant change, especially for somebody like Sonya. Because this is or exactly when you want to do it. Got you it. want to, quite, especially yes. um, going into something like a reckoning. Yes, you have a list that's going to die. Mm-hmm. You'd rather be the one to kill them. Yes, Got exactly. It. Got it. So, speaking of reckoning, is there any strats or schemes where Sonya becomes a a, a prime uh, candidate? Is Actually, wouldn't mind her for power or cursed cursed objects. I wouldn't mind her too much for cursed objects because she can get in the middle, dominate with that fourteen inch range, and say, "Come in on me." Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, and that range also really helps for turf mm-hmm. for popping, you know, back quadrants. 
um, yeah. that people would think were safe otherwise. Exactly. And she's got enough models with enough mobility to get out and tag the markers she needs. She does. I mean, at that, that case of worst case, I would hire a, I would hire watchers for the Solstone tax. Yeah, explosives. She could play into anything. Yeah, I think explosives yeah. of That's them good. would be her weakest. Yes. Um, because she wants to spend her time doing something else. Right. And right. she doesn't want to expose herself to run that up. And then her other options for runners, you you have very specific, you know, you want to get an aura right. into place. Yeah. And, or it's going to be somebody who's going to explode. So they have other roles beyond, I need to get across that line and drop something. Sure. So <clears throat> we talked about, you know, uh, a resilient beater getting into her face and stuff like that. Is there anything else as a crew, not just a Sonya, as a crew that, um, you know, we talked condition removal. Um, it, do they have some melee abilities? So, I mean, so, so if they're against a melee heavy crew, can they stand up or sure. is it really just fodder? No, thrall, Thralls can thrall. hit pretty hard. Oh, okay. Thralls will hit pretty hard. Um, the actual handlers can hit pretty hard. They have a great sword. Gotcha. They can hit pretty hard in melee. And remember, they can use stones. They can use stones as well. To get the things they need. Mm-hmm. Uh, thralls, uh, actually, as a rarity in guild, they have the baked in suit, yes. uh, which will give them the critical strike. So they they're are. actually a min three they eight are. cost. I mean, hard effectively a min three because they're getting the crit trigger. Um, and uh, they're reasonably tanky. And as they're ruthless well, as well, which, which is situational, but can save your life when yeah. you need it. Ruthless can actually be very good. That's great. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's the Witch Hunters, led by oh. Sonya Crid. 